Get ready for a game for people with a magnetic personality. This is our review of Ransom Note. Ransom Notes is a player judge game where players create answers to questions using word magnets. And I literally thought we'd be creating Ransom Notes the whole game. I love the concept of the word magnets, but there need to be some more small words so we can make complete sentences. We'll tell you all about it after this quick how to play. Each player starts off with a metal submission card and a magnet word cloud of 75 or so random words. A prompt card is revealed and all players create an answer using their magnet word cloud. After 60 to 90 seconds, time is up and each player reads out their answer. Players determine the judge for the round by spinning the box and the judge can choose the answer they like the best, which could be their own. The winner receives the prompt card and the first player to five wins. We were sent a copy of Ransom Notes so that we could do this review video. If you'd like to find out more information or buy a copy of the game, check out the link in the description below. I had a lot of fun with this game. I really enjoyed the creativity you can come up with when you have your word cloud. I like games like Scrabble and things like that where you have to create words using things. When you only have the words and you're trying to create sentences, I think that's really creative. However, you need more small words that like the at, the does, the ands, the use, the he, the she, in order to create actual sentences. Because a lot of times you'll get prompts and you're like, I need like the filler word to go in there. So I think it would be best if like you had extra filler words that each player had their own set of filler words. And then your word cloud was made up of the other words that you can then fill in to the sentences. Sometimes when you make your answer, it's like really thought out, right? the cat went over the hill to do this. And then other times it's like, darkness scared me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no question mark, but you know what I mean. So sometimes, it, and even that can be funny too, but I am with you on that. Like there are times where you're like, ooh, I just need a uh or an S or, or something. Or, I mean, the rules aren't that strict, right? I mean, you said it yourself, like 70-ish. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, okay, whatever, let me just grab. But if you just happen to grab like the big ones and not like the tiny like two letters or one letters, you're like, ah, man. <laughs> Each player reads out their own answer and the rules aren't that strict. So yes, as you're reading it, you can translate it. You don't have the judge reading it going, what did you mean to say here, Lee? Or like, <laughs> what are you trying to say? Like Lee would read it out and he would fill in the gaps. Like, this is what I want to say. This is my answer. So you can kind of fill everybody in on what you were thinking. I just think it would be more fun if you could literally create the word and then give it to them and then have them read it out like it is uh, Cards Against Humanity or Apples to Apples type of a thing. I think that would be even more fun. Not taking away from what this is, I just think that's an element that's missing from this game. I will say one thing I did with this game, which I do a lot, right, is kind of judge the judge a book by its cover. So the cover, like the back of the, co the, back of the cards, it really makes it look like you're going to get all these little things and like make a little note that looks like, a, you know, we have your son. Like, if you want to see him again, bring $1 million. But it's like goofy font. I know production-wise, that just wouldn't make, you know, how would you fit that Every in this little box? Yeah, yeah. How would you do that? I get it. I'm just saying I just built it up in my mind, too. So I, uh, But I still had a lot of fun. Some of the prompts in this game are better than other prompts, especially for the restrictions of the word cloud and the sentences you have to make. Like sometimes one of them is like, give your retirement speech or do this or do this. It's like, I mean, yeah, if I had more words, I could probably come up with something really good, but it should just be like, what's a simple phrase that you would say in blank situation? Like something, they should give you opportunities to make it shorter. And this is asking for full essays <laughs> when I'm already restricted. Like, how does this happen? So I like a lot of the prompts, but some of the prompts are like, eh, not the best. Yeah, I thought the whole thing was going to be dark, right? Like, we have your son, we have your dog, but I guess there's there can really be only so many like this is ransom a party notes, game, right? Lee. What did you think it was going to be? <laughs> I, just, I don't know, like ransom notes. Like, and then Liam Neeson kicks in the door. Yeah. <laughs> because you have the word cloud, it does limit the imagination that you can have with the words, but at the same time, it can also help those people who normally wouldn't have the biggest imagination in the first place. So if it's a blank canvas and you're writing, then it's all about well, what can I come up with? Whereas this, you have the words in front of you. So even if you have someone at your party or someone playing the game, that's just like, oh, I'm not super creative. It's like, oh, well, everyone's limited by their word cloud. So even though I have some issues, I wish there were some other words in there to make the sentences more so I could be more imaginative, I actually think it is helpful for people who may not be as imaginative because they have the words in front of them. All they got to do, you move the words around enough and it's like, oh, monkeys will write Shakespeare or whatever it is, right? Like eventually they'll figure out 
how to create a sentence to turn in. So even though it requires some imagination, I feel like there is a crutch there in that the words are there, you just gotta put them in the right order. Yeah, and even if someone's like, oh, I'm not that creative, it's like, just make a sentence. Just make a full sentence and then maybe it'll just be funny because that's the only sentence you could make. And even if you just start off with, make a sentence, now look at what other words you have, switch out some of those words like Mad Lib style, like, okay, so here's your normal sentence, but if you replace that word, does it make it funnier? And you, so I feel like that's very helpful. So with the choice of words, I really like that because you can, like you said, you can swap out, you know, like, oh, I like this sentence. Oh, but what if I take this noun out and put this in? Then, okay, that's kind of funny. I, I kind of like that. I really like the creativity that went into creating this game. I like the metal submission cards and how you organize your thoughts with the words on it. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, the, the different components that you don't normally see with the magnets and this, like, yeah. It's not a box of cards. What did you not like about this game? So the game says 15 and up, and not that there aren't like adult themed or words in there, I just didn't see a lot of them. Whenever I like playing these party player judge games, I like just, you know, like, oh, haha. -ha, as dirty as possible. Well, not like, you know, not too dirty, but still, like I didn't see a lot of like funny, you know. Phrases. <laughs> phrases that you know you can just kind of swap out you're like ah oh, man be funny if that was put in there i didn't see a lot of those words that you would normally see going back to my original comment it's just missing those middle words that can make complete sentences it's still funny i just if you can have those complete sentences so that a judge could just read it and you don't have to explain yourself that would just make the game 100 percent Overall, in terms of player judge party games, it is a different take with the different components. So, but it's still a player judge game. So I still had a lot of fun. I like some other ones better. So I'll probably give this a four. Overall, I really enjoyed this game, especially for a party game. I like the creativity that went into creating it. I like the creativity that you can have while playing it. Wish there were a few other words that you can make full sentences. Wish some of the cards were a little bit better. But overall, I'm gonna give it a six. And that was our review of Ransom Notes. What'd you think? Is this magnet game something you're attracted to? Let us know in the comments below. Once again, we'd like to thank Very Special Games for sending us a copy so that we could do this review video. If you'd like to find out more information or buy a copy, check out the links in our description below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny. I go part like a board gamer.